Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Dallas. This is my fifth video that I'm doing on similar triangles. Uh, this is another unique type of similar triangles problem uh, that I'm going to call the two side splitter. Um, if you look at this triangle here, there's actually two triangles, uh, the small one and the big one. If you look at the big triangle, this side here is getting split right here. Same thing for on the right side. The right side of this big triangle it's getting split right here. So two sides of the triangle are getting split. Um, some of you might think, well, to set up and, uh, the proportion and solve for x, you would, you would draw two separate triangles. One small one, where this would be x and this would be 9, and a big one, where this would be x plus 4, and this would be 9 plus 7, or 16, and set up the proportion and solve for the variable. Uh, you can do it this way, but that's a much more complex way, and I think you're going to you see why pretty quickly why this is a little bit more complex. Um, the way that I do this problem is on the next slide. I have the same problem on the next slide here. Um, it's this guy right here. We'll get that in a moment. Is if you were to look at these two triangles here, and these triangles are similar because this statement here says they're similar. Um, where this side here is getting, uh, is getting split is right here. Where this side here is getting split right here. Uh, if you put an equal sign between those two, that's your proportion. Uh, what do I mean by that? I have 10 over 5 equals 6 over x. If you cross multiply and solve for the variable, you're going to get x. And this is only good if these are um, proportional. They are proportional or if you have a parallel line here. So you have a parallel line here. So that's in, uh, or if you did have a parallel line here, you could do the same thing we just did here. Um, so again, so if I were to cross multiply this, 10 times x is 10 times x, 5 times 6 is on the right side, and this is 10x equals 30. Divide both sides by 10. You get x is equal to 3. So x is equal to 3 here. Sorry, that 3 just looked a little weird. So x is equal to 3. That should be the right answer here. Let me double check this by plugging it back in. So 10 over 5 equals 6 over 3. Again, this x became a 3 now. This is now a 3. I cross multiply 10 times 3 is 30. And 5 times 6 is 30. So again, since these are similar figures, um, I can do this little trick here. And so 3 has to be my answer for x. So, cha-ching, we're good, because this statement matches up. Uh, or, again, if you did not have this statement here, but these were parallel lines, you could have done the same thing here. So, if you did not know they were similar, but you did have parallel lines here, you could have also done the same trick that we just did here. So, that would work as well. So, just a little note for later on. Um, so, again, we're going to jump over to 6 now. Again, I know these are similar because it says they are, or let's say I know these are parallel and I didn't know this, you could still do the same thing that I just did. Um, this, left, this left side here is getting chopped right here. This right side here is getting chopped right here. And if you put the equal sign between those two, it sets up your proportion for you. x over 4 equals 9 over 6. Um, also, something to note, um, when I look across from x to 9, did I cross this line here in the middle? I did not. Same thing right here. They're across from each other. This 4 is across from the 6 here. I didn't cross the line here. I'm going straight across. So this 4 is going to be opposite the 6. It's very important to understand that they're opposites of each other on the triangle. Uh, cross multiply here. I have a 6 times x. And then I have a 4 times 9 which becomes 6x equals 4 times 9 is 36. And if I divide both sides by 6, I get x equals 6. So let's double check to make sure that this is the correct answer. So this x is now 6 over 4 equals 9 over 6. I cross multiply, 6 times 6 is 36. 4 times 9 is 36 as well. So this is a true statement here. So 6 has to be equal to x, or x is equal to 6, and that's how you solve these problems. Again, this only happens when you have two sides that are getting split. Uh, and then also realize that the numbers across from each other 
are what you're setting up here. You're never going to cross and do 4 and 9 and then X and 6. You would not do uh, a 4 and 9 and an X and 6 here. So be careful there. Uh, all in all, I hope this helps you understand this two-side splitter, and I hope you have a great day.